good Monday morning guys it is a new bright shiny new week um, and it is 20 to 11 I'm just gonna prop you up there because oh hello you've gone out of focus There you go, hello. Um, because I am doing some washing at the moment. The plan was for today to go to my local town um, to, um, I've got some shoes to return and I've got, uh, I bought some boots from Shoe Zone, but the size 9 doesn't fit, even though I always have a size 9 from there, and no problems. So that's disappointing, and I really like them as well. Um, so I need to return those, but Imi was a bit of a bugger in the night. She had me up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, all night, more or less. She had a, what we call her baby, out, like a, it's a long piece of felt, which she came with, with feathers on the end. Um, she had that out, mowing at the top of her voice. Then she had her little monkey thing out, she had that out, mowing at the top of her voice. I just don't know what her crack was last night. Then she come and laid on the bed with me, and I was awake anyway from 1am to 4am in agony, so that was fine. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't a good night. Uh, my mum woke up, she'd been up all night as well, we passed many times in the night with toothache, so we all decided, like me and my mum, that at 7 o'clock when we woke up, we was going to go back to bed for a bit because we'd had such a rough night. <laughs> Um, so decided to put today off because that's really noisy um, me and my mum are going out tomorrow because I've got to go and get some concealer I literally have none I'm scraping mine out so we're going to do that we haven't been out me and my mum like properly out, out for a long time so we're going to do we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to go to Blue Water tomorrow, I think, and get that. We need some Urban Decay just concealer. So that's the only concealer that will cover these bad boys. Um, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. But this morning, I've just straightened my hair because I didn't do it yesterday because I was being lazy. But I washed it yesterday. So. Um, and I've just literally had a cup of coffee, a piece of toast. I've just had a shower and got myself sorted out for the day. Um, and now I think I'm going to dust my bedroom because it's a bit dusty. So I think I'm going to sort that out um, this morning. So it's just a potter at home day today, which is fine. Tomorrow, like I say, will be a more full on out and about day. But the weekend was fine. Finished my book. So that's good. I'll show you in a bit what book I'm going to read um, now. But i um, seeing my friend Nick this week as well, who had a hysterectomy last week. So that will be really exciting. Um, so yeah, I've got a few bits to do like this week. Um, and I do need to take these shoes back. I'm really gutted they don't fit because they're so nice. Like they are so nice. So gutted they don't fit. Um, but I might have a look in there and see if any of the other like I've got nines from there and all of them fit so these were made by someone who thinks a nine is like that big so I might um go and have a look in there and see what else they've got so but yeah anyway I hope you had a great weekend and come follow me through my day guys right I have ugh, been strangled by the top um I've put washing on 
it's spinning now, sorry if you can hear it. Um, and I have dusted in the bedroom and sorted out some bits in here so it really smells nice in here now. And sorted out some washing and stuff. So that's all good. Um, I've got my hinge on. <laughs> Uh, not majorly but anyway uh, done my bits so I like to keep on top of like little bits like that and the rest of the house was done yesterday so that's good um, I'm going to show you the book that I'm reading because I finished uh, I Let You Go yesterday and it was very good oh, I've got a sore nose oh, I've got a sore nose in my cat um, which is a little cuddle um, I let you go by Claire. Is it even Macintosh? Yes. Sorry, I had to check then. It was very good. Highly recommend it. The twist in it was amazing. But now I'm reading this one, so I'll spin this and I will uh, show you what I'm reading now. I only started it last night and I'm only 21 pages in. So far, so good. So this is the one, so this is the one I am reading now. My mum picked this up for me at Onsda. The Secret She Keep, Keeps by Michael Robotham. I think that's how you say it. And he has written, I mean the reviews again on this. Peter James, he writes in a voice with a haunting sense of soul. He's written all of that lot. So he's written quite a few, so if I like it, there's a few more. And this is the back. So if you want to pause and have a read it. So, and so far it's divided up into like two kind of chapters. Oh, sorry. So you've got Agatha, so it's about two women. And Megan. So it's kind of chap chaptered up. They're both pregnant at the moment and Agatha is obsessed with Megan's life because like it says there, everyone has an idea of what their perfect like it, life is. For Agatha, it's Megan Shaughnessy's. So, yeah, so far, so good, but I will keep you updated. Good afternoon, guys. It is quarter to four. Um, I haven't really... Well, I have done a lot today, but I haven't left the house today. It's just been indoors. So, um, I have, since last time I saw you, I've hoovered, put some washing on, tidied up, dusted bedroom, cleaned my bedroom a little bit, um, had, a, had some lunch, had a little rest. I've just watched some Killing Eve on the TV with mum and dad. They're watching 13 now, which I've seen on the telly. Both Killing Eve and 13 have got Jodie Comer in it. Really good if you've not seen either of those. So I'm going to read now. I've just cleaned my Beauty Blender Blot Arotsy thing that's in my handbag. To go back in my handbag. Sorted out a smaller handbag because tomorrow I'm going to Blue Water with my mum. And... I am now going to read for a bit. I've spoken to my uncle today, which was good, which was nice. I haven't spoken to him for a while. I'm going to meet, see him on Wednesday with my mum and dad for a cup of coffee at Costa. So that would be really nice to see him because I haven't seen him for a while now. Um, and I'm meeting my friend this week. So there's a few bits going on. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have a little read now because... To be honest, I've done all my bits for today, so it's quite nice to just have a bit of time now. I'm just looking around. I've got to go and get a Homera out of the fridge. Um, and that's about it, really. Cook dinner um, later on. That's it. So, yeah, that's it. Nothing really exciting. I hope you're all having a great Monday. Um, hope it was pleasant for you, and I'll catch up with you in a bit always coming at you with the last entry for Monday it is half past eight um, I have been watching Netflix tonight I've uh, been watching something called Elias Grace it's really good um, so if you're interested in like 
historical things, she's been put away for murder in like an asylum type thing and a new doctor has been coming to like and it goes back over her life and what happened and that's really good so check that out if you're interested in things like that. Um, I am going to go and read my book now, The Secret She Keeps. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. Oh, where is she? Oh, not very good at this. This little people here is fast asleep, as you can see. Pour over her face and everything. Hopefully she's better behaved tonight than she was last night. Bless her sound over there. Um, so yeah, that's really all I've got to update you for. So I will see you in the morning. Good Tuesday morning, guys. How are you all this morning? Sorry for the light orb in the middle of the screen. It is 20 to 9. I'm just getting ready. Feeling a bit tired this morning but nevertheless shut up get up put up get on so that's what we're gonna do um going to blue water with my mum we won't be there all day so and i've got my wheelchair so it's fine um so we're gonna go and have a little look i need some new leggings and i need some concealer so that's what we're going to do so and we will have some lunch together no we're fancy and just enjoy our day together so mum's moaning because she's got a big spot on her forehead right there Gertrude it's called just FYI um, I said to her well you know you're giving your daughter a break so don't be so so envious of uh, your daughter you know you're giving her a break so you know it should be mother's duties Lovely. so she's not happy she's got some nicked me spot gel and all that so I'm just gonna Immy's just chilling down here watching me she always sits and watches me doing makeup as if to say what are you doing don't ya eh? she's like I'm naturally beautiful don't need to bother mum um, so I just had a shower I've just got my hoodie on because I've got, just got my bra on and you don't want to see that trust so I'm just going to get ready and then we will be going leaving as soon as possible to go I um, need to do my hair and that obviously um, so yeah just thought I'd come and say hey I'll try and get some footage around Blue Water like I normally do when I go to Blue Water um, and if I do buy anything I will show you when we get home. So I'll let you go and I'll catch up with you later.
coming at you at home. The last clip you saw would have been around Blue Water. Me and Mum, we went today. We only spent a little while there. We didn't spend too long. Why am I like... I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why I hold it so close. So I'm going to show you a little haul of what I bought. I still had some birthday money. So... I bought an Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is my concealer of choice in Fair Neutral. You won't be able to see that because it won't focus, but that's what I bought. I bought Requiem on DVD. If you've never seen Requiem, where have you been? Where have you been? It's like a ghosty type thing. Absolutely amazing. You need to see it. End of story. And... I bought, I don't know how I'm going to show you this, to be honest. I bought, then I stopped at Strood on the way home and bought a, uh, what is it, Make Me Brow, which is a dupe for Gimme Brow. A Lash Princess Mascara, my favourite mascara ever. And then I bought, two, <laughs> Dad talking to the cat, two jumpers so I bought this jumper with like a zigzag at the back so oh, I don't know where to put you where do I put you actually ow that was my knee oh, you're being blinded by the window it's attractive so it's got like a zigzag there and then like a V at the front and it's just a a long jumper with long sleeves and it's like this blush pinky kind of colour. I don't normally go for pink because I don't think it particularly suits my hair colour or I think it looks really nice on people that have got really dark hair but I've got like mousy brown with like blonde and brown highlights in it so I don't really think it looks the best but I liked this colour on me so I bought that. And this one I'm absolutely in love with. This is a, the material of this is called chenille. And it's like a crew neck. And it looks black, but it's actually forest green. Um, and again, long sleeves, cuffs, quite long to go with leggings, long waistband. And it is the softest thing I have ever felt in my life, literally. It's the softest. I was going to get two of these. I was going to get... The lighting is terrible, I'm so sorry. Um, I was going to get, they had bright pink, um, plum, but they didn't have my size in the plum. Navy, the green, and like a baby diarrhea, like tobacco -y colour. I was going to get the tobacco -y colour because it looked really nice on me. But I knew I wouldn't wear it. So I just went for the, na uh, the green. My mum didn't like the green, but I did. So I went for the green. And that's it. Hello, Ims. You come to say Hello so that's it that's all i bought blue water I had some birthday money left so i decided to get myself some new jumpers and to go with leggings because all i wear in the winter is leggings really because i was going to get myself some jeggings up there oh, sorry about the window um but i have one leg bigger than the other my left leg is about five or six centimeters wider than my left no than the right duh um and by lunchtime the leg of my jeans on the left side is cutting off the circulation we've come unfocused um it's cutting off the circulation so oh god i'm so sorry this is the most terrible vlog entry in the world that's better um yeah it's literally cutting off my circulation to my leg so the right's fine the right leg's fine but the left is just getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter around my leg and I've got nerve pain and things like that, it's not very pleasant so I just decided to skip out on the jeans, can't wear them, that's how it is so that's it basically, we're home, it is 25 past 2, good on a cup of tea and chill I think, I've got a bad headache, take some paracetamol Excuse my mother. <laughs> so yeah, um, Emmy's welcomed us home. Haven't you? Hello. 
she's been with my dad. I think it's with my dad. Yeah. So hello guys, I'm laying on mommy's shopping bag. Did I get you at Blue Water? Did I? Did I get you? How much was you? So priceless, mommy. Oh, it's priceless. I'll leave you with this cuteness. See you in a bit. Good evening, guys. It is five past eight. Um, Emmy's yawning. I read off. She's purring as well. I can hear her purring. She just had her biscuits. Oh, yeah, you just had your bibbits. You just had your bibbits. Yeah, you just had your bibbits. Yeah. Um, I've just finished watching. Oh, we've gone a bit. We've gone a bit blurry. There we go. Um, I've just finished watching a thing on Netflix called Elias Grace. It was really freaking good. It was like set in like the 1800s. Um, and it's like about this woman who was in like a asylum type place. Um, and did she kill these two people or was it someone else? And it was amazing. It was such a good thing. So good. It was like six episodes. It was brilliant. So if you're interested in like history type thing and want something that's quite gritty as well then check that out because it was really good um elias grace it was called um and i'm just gonna go and make a cup of tea and read the book for a bit so sorry i've been a bit mia today i've showed you what i bought blue water and stuff but to be honest i've just been busy so i've just not not been picking up the camera and I've been with my mum so it's kind of just been I've just been sort of enjoying the time that I've like had with her so it's quite difficult to just constantly whip out my phone and start vlogging so yeah I'm just gonna go and make a cup of tea I've got really bad like my heart's doing that topic thing tonight I won't say palpitations because it's not palpitations it's better since I've lowered the beta blockers. I haven't spoke about it because I'm trying not to think about it as much. Oh, my shoulder. Trying not to think about... Try not to think about it and try not to think about it. And then if I don't, then maybe it's not happening. I know that it's not happening as much, but it's quite bad tonight. I think it's because I've had a busy day. And like the doctor said, it happens more when you've had a like a busy day and you're relaxing at night. That's when they tend to go more, like your heart misses beats more, um, which is when I get it more, which is in the evening. So, but anyway, whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm signing off with you. Hope you all have a great evening and I will catch up with you in the morning. Night. Good Wednesday morning guys, it is a bright and sunny morning here in Kent, it's going to be about 24 degrees today, it's just not right is it, in my opinion, it's just not right for October, I don't like it, I mean I like the sun but it should be cold, it should be like, should be, be able to wear my jumpers and stuff. But anyway, good morning. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I am going for a coffee with my mum, my dad and my uncle. I haven't seen my uncle for a while. But I have a few bits and pieces to do first. They're going to take him to buy a new tumble dryer. Um, so they're going to do that with him and then I'm going to meet them now. I've just pulled up to my doctor's because um, I need to sort some stuff out there and make a couple of appointments and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that and then I've got to take a pair of trousers down to the dry cleaners because they've ripped the waistband um, and they're one of my favourite pairs. So just, it's only a tiny little rip but my mum can't sew it up because it needs to be stretchy cotton. So I need to find out how much they're going to charge me to rip me off and stitch them up. So yeah, that's all I have on for today. Um, not much going on today. Tomorrow I think I'm going to... Primark with my mum as I have a birthday voucher for Primark and I'd like to get myself a new handbag um, and then Friday I'm meeting my friend Nick for lunch I think we're just going lunch because she's not long had surgery so it's been a bit of a busy week this week not gonna lie 
had nothing on on Monday and now it's just whoo, filled right up so yeah anyway I'll let you go and I will catch up with you in a bit and like I say I'll see you throughout the day anyway but not a great deal going on <laughs> the retail park where our Costa is. Um, my mum is in Coe's at the moment with my uncle still and my dad. Um, I've just taken my trousers down to the dry cleaners. <clears throat> £9 to have a tiny little thing like that stitched up and I mean it's like no bigger than my nail but like I say you need stretchy cotton so I can't do it. You know you just think nine quid. Jesus. But anyway, it's got to be done. So it's got to be done. Could be worse. So that's done. Um, they'll be ready like it's going to take about two weeks, she said. Um, but that's fine. I just want them for like the winter. So that's done. Um, went into the doctor's. The lady that I know in there, she's going to do my prescription herself because, like she said, otherwise it won't get done. Because they last time they messed up, like they missed out five of my items because I have about, I don't know. 
12, 13 items a month and that's minus um, controlled drug, my fentanyl, minus two liquids that I have, minus my Hemera, so I'm on a lot of stuff. Um, and she said otherwise it won't get done because they've prescribed some and some so and I said to her yeah I don't know why they did that but they just did um, so she's gonna do that herself for me um, which is nice of her I used to go to school with her daughter and I did work experience with her daughter um, so she's gonna do that for me and I've made an appointment for a blood test but I can't get a doctor's appointment until November and their books are not made up for November so guess I'll be waiting for that um, it's not an emergency but she can only give me one on a Friday afternoon when I'm seeing my counsellor and I don't want to have to rush back and the, the traffic is always bad coming out of my counsellor because of the schools and everything else so I don't want to be rushing to get back and then miss my appointment and normally after that sometimes I've got a really bad headache and I just feel a bit drained and stuff so I'm gonna I said to a no for that one, so um, we'll leave it for the moment. So I'm just going to wait here a little while and see if I can spot them coming out. Because um, I don't think they'll be out yet, but anyway. So yeah, and then I think I'm going home today, not doing much. Not doing much today, so yeah, see you in a bit. So I finished coffee with my uncle and my mum and dad and I've just popped her as to living because I need a new over shoulder boulder holder, I need a new bra so and the only one that I like I have like the crop tops that they do with like lace over the top or I like they do this one bra and it's the only bra that I will wear because it's so comfortable so I hope they never stop doing it and I have it in black and white but I only have one black one so I needed a new one so I've just pulled in here to get that it's 11 15 so I think I'm gonna head home now mum and dad should be home soon they just took my uncle to Sainsbury's to get a few bits and then they'll be home so I've got a bit of a headache so I think I'm just gonna head for home now so it's all go round here it's been an exciting day Good evening guys, it is half past eight, well 25 to nine actually, um, I've just been watching Netflix, um, I've been watching something called The Alienist which is what they used to call people that studied um, people with mental health problems or people considered not to be in their right mind back in like the 19th, 18th, 19th century um, and it's really good so far really good so I'm just going to have a cup of tea and I'm going to read my book my book so far is pretty darn good I'm only on page 81 but it's this one The Secrets She Keeps by Michael Rowbotham and it's a compelling psychological thriller. I can't speak today. Do you know what I've done that so many times? So freaking tongue tied lately. The Secret She Keeps is a compelling psychological thriller that delves deep into deeply into the psyche of the human mind by internationally best selling author Michael Rollbotham. Stephen King's review, two terrific female characters, both with secrets. Add Michael Rollbotham's clean, poise and whip-cracking pace. The result, a book you won't be able to put down. It's pretty good. And the front says, The Daily Express, terrifying, leaves you unsettled and enthralled. It's about two characters called Agatha and Megan. Um, Agatha is obsessed with Megan's life. That's all I'm up to so far. So I'm going to read that. So it's been a bit of a boring day today, but I've had a bit of a quiet day. Um, just been out and about this morning doing a few errands and stuff and just chilling out this afternoon. Had my medication to do this afternoon. I got the washing in for mum, emptied the airing cupboard and folded that up for mum. I've just been... Um, 
What else did I do? We watched a thing on the telly this afternoon about the people beating up police officers. <laughs> like, caught on camera, like. Um, where police officers have been beaten up by people. And it's, it's disgusting, like, you know. Um, one was stabbed with a four... Um, was it 40 or... Four, no, four foot long samurai sword. He was lucky, like two millimetres closer, it would have severed his femoral artery, so he was lucky to be alive, man. Like, some people out there just God, fucking, like, amazes me, it really does. Um, that was really good, so we had a cup of tea and watched that. Oh, excuse me. And then I did the airy cupboard and got the washing in. Amy's been snoring all day. Aren't you, Bob? She's been snoozing. She's got adenoids. Bless her. Snoozing. She's got a snoring problem. So that's it, basically. Um, I don't think I've drunk enough because I've got a really bad headache. I've had it all freaking day. Um, so and I'm just going to try and drink like some more tonight before I go to bed. And tomorrow I'm going to Primark with my mum. Because I have a voucher. Well, not a voucher. It's not a voucher anymore, is it? It shows how old I am. I used to get freaking vouchers. It's gift cards now. So I have a gift card for Primark. And I need... I would No, I don't need it. I would like a new handbag. So I'm going to go and have a look at the handbags. And I need to go and get my glasses tightened up. Because I have a wonky arm. So I need to go and do that. I need to pick up my other glasses from Specsavers in Maidstone. But... Mum's going to do that for me when she goes into town because I don't go to Maidstone very often. Um, and yeah, going to just have a little mooch. I need to take some boots back as well to shoe zone because I don't fit. Get my money back on those. So yeah, all in all, that's what will happen tomorrow. Providing I get up and feel remotely like I can do it. So that's it for today. So I will see you in about one second for you, but for me, a little while. See you in the morning. So it's good Thursday morning, guys. I forgot what day it is then. We've just arrived in a local town to us to go and do a bit of shopping because they've got a big, 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 and I'm in a big mother of our Primark. So we're going to go and do a bit of shopping in there. I will try and get a few clips for you, but if I can't, I can't. Um, it is a chillier day here. It's quite windy. Apparently we've got a bit of a storm coming. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on today. Nothing exciting. Got a jumper on. First jumper of the season. This isn't one I bought. It's just an old one from last year. And that's it. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Yo. I gear up, ease out the door, what a sudden scare Fast awakened by the coldest breeze I felt this year Struck sharp like a spear, the one that grinned and bare this Feel like hopping on the plane, to somewhere where air is Warm and nice, making my life easy Instead of standing here in my doorway freezing These thoughts are teasing me, had enough season I really don't need another reason, I'm leaving Walking out the door, don't feel like coming back Business summertime so far away. I gotta take this holiday. Wanna play on sand dunes by the shore damn soon. Don't really care if it's Bali or Cancun. As long as I'm there, drinking the air with my baby beside, throwing wings in her chair, stinking weather, picking fights with me, constantly biting me. Want more weather now? Alright, give me. Walking out the door, don't feel like coming back. I leave the cold behind. Leave the cold behind Longing for a shore Where the sun's stroking my back I leave the cold behind Leave the cold behind Tickets booked, 
Destination settled we'll pack a wicked book and leave the thick sweater So heat better eat where the teeth touch ground Seek sweet sea breeze and the soothing surf sound Most of me says free fast from this dark place But a part of my heart still likes it this way Biding my time, waiting for the summer Might have its charm, but it's mostly a bummer So I gotta go now Things leaving in like two hours So just packing the flip-flops, the last shit And I'm out, man Primark guys and they've got my I've been looking for one of these for so long double pom-pom tat I've been looking for one for so long so I'm gonna grab that so there will definitely be a Primark haul after today because it's kind of gone a bit mad not mad for me but they've got some lovely stuff in here they've got it in this color too but I prefer the black Excited. Hello guys, it is 25 to 2 and I've just got home, um, had a lovely morning with my mum, uh, we got into Chatham, had a cup of coffee, um, went to the works, I restrained myself from buying a book, I think I deserve a round of applause for that, I'll give you a second, thank you for that round of applause. But I did come home to a book that I'd ordered on eBay. I said to my mum, it's not a book. She said, it is a book, I can see it. But I said, it's not. She's fine with me buying books. She knows my obsession is real. I said, she said, what is it then? I said, it's words written on pages. I'm pretty proud of that one. <laughs> she was like, it's a book. I said, it's not a book. It's words written on pages. Totally different thing. Um, I am now getting ready to film a Primark haul. Oh, which will be up by the time you see this, I imagine. Might not. Oh, tantalising you, tantalising you. Um, yes, yeah, so we had a coffee together. Um, and then we did a bit of shopping. Took my boots back. I didn't buy another pair of boots. Restrained myself there. Um, don't really need another pair of boots, so I was a good girl. Got £20 back. Um... And, I mean, it wouldn't have been the end of the world if I did buy a pair of boots, you know, birthday money and all that, but I didn't. Um, and then we went for, we went, I had a McDonald's. I had cheeky McDonald's. It was quite nice, actually. I don't eat McDonald's very often, but it was quite nice. Um, and then drove home. So, oh, I've got to change arms. So now I'm just going to film this Primark call for you. Then I'm going to get thy pyjamas on and I'm going to read thy book my legs killing me so but I want to film this Primark cord so I can sort my bag out might have bought a handbag um, and all that so yes I will catch up with you a bit later I suppose um, but yeah I'm just gonna I'm in now tomorrow I'm seeing my friend I've got to text her back actually that was rude of me wasn't it but I was out and about so um, and they yeah, have been busy this week, I've been a busy little bit, I'm not usually this like full on all week so it's been a very busy week for Chloe, um, she's a bit tired this afternoon, she's a bit tired so yeah, so my cardi I came home to a card my cardiology letter which is very reassuring because she's actually put in there which I asked her to that my con condition won't preclude me having surgery so that's good. Um, just need to get in to see my GP now for her to refer me, which is pretty proving pretty much bloody impossible. But anyway, so yes, I have, I had a lovely little hand hold. My finger was held by this lovely little newborn baby called Amber. Today she gripped my finger really tight. She had the biggest brown eyes I've ever seen, loads of spiky jet black hair. And I don't know if it was wind, but I'm going to convince myself that I've got a smile. So... I'm going to convince myself that it wasn't wind, even though she'd just been fed. It was a smile. But she was super cute, so her mum let me hold her finger and she was like, I was cooing over her. She was really cute. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's a bit windy here. Tree, leaves are starting to fall off the trees. 
so it's finally becoming autumn i've got a jumper on today if you're wondering this is from last year you've probably seen it in my other vlogs it's got little pearlies on the arms as well it's just from asda i don't know they have got something similar this year because i saw it in there the other day but they don't have pink this year they have grey which i had last year but it's not identical to this but if you're wanting something similar as does your jam so right anyway i'm gonna go film this haul and i will catch up with you later guys coming at you with a last vlog entry of the day it is half past eight just had a cup of tea and i am reading my book Amy is clearly in her belly at the moment, FYI, um, she's a bit moody with me I think because I haven't been here too much this week, like in the mornings especially, she hasn't had her morning snuggles and I think she's got a bit of the ump with me to be honest, she's like judging me for it, I can feel it, my cat's judging me. And I haven't had a cuddle for ages, and I think she's, I think she's got the ump. You got the ump with mummy M's, M E M's. Yeah, she's got the ump. So um, I've got a really, really bad headache. So I've just taken some paracetamol. I'm gonna read for a bit, and I'm not gonna have any diet because I won't be up early. So I'm seeing my friend tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to blue water again, so um, it's just easy, it's all under one roof, parking, stuff, so it's just easy. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing her though because I haven't seen her for weeks, so we'll have a lot to catch up on. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the morning. Good. Friday morning everybody it is just coming up to quarter to nine I have got up obviously oh my hair's all gone in my makeup um, I have washed up and sorted out the kitchen and stuff and had a shower and got myself ready to go out with my friend today um, I'm wearing the top that I bought yesterday which, well, this was from one of my mum, but she didn't like it because it was too high up her neck. So she gave it to me and my Primark leggings. Um, I'm just sitting by the fan because I'm hot at the moment. Um, a bit early, but I'm going to leave in a minute to go and get myself a cup of coffee because I didn't have any breakfast this morning and... I just woke up feeling not myself so I just decided to start getting ready and then I'm going to go and get myself a cup of coffee and then I can drink that while I'm driving to my friends so but I hope you all have a great Friday I'm going to Blue Water again with my friend today so I don't know how much footage I will get today because I've already shown you Blue Water once this week um, but I will try and get me and my friend in it at some point like I normally do um, so yeah, I hope you have a great Friday, and I will catch up with you throughout the day. See you later. So guys, it is tell me use your uh, 9.52, and I'm just at Nick's waiting for her to come down. Um, I went to get myself Costa's latte lately. It's just been, it's, I don't know if they've changed their coffee or something, but it, it just didn't taste right, so... I got a coconut flat white and it's really nice, vanilla flat white. I need a coffee this morning. I'm flagging a bit. But I haven't seen Nick since she had her operation. So, like, I need to see her. So, um, it's going to be a restful weekend for me because I'm extremely tired. Um, so, yeah, just waiting for Nick to come down and then... We shall be on the way. Um, what else was I going to say? Why do I always get the poodlers? Like, I always get stuck behind people that do like five miles an hour on the road. And I'm like, you know, it's a 40 and you're doing like 28 miles an hour. 
any other drivers out there, does that just piss you off? Because if it's a 40, you've got to be doing, I think, at least like between 35 and 40. If you're doing any slower than that, unless there's a good reason why you're doing slower than that, it's just like major piss off zone. Do you know what I mean? Just pisses people off. So I had this woman, she was like driving in a 40 at like 28 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, and there's nothing in front of her and she's just braking every 30 seconds. I'm like, take your foot off the brake. <laughs> there's nothing there to brake for. I just don't get it I just don't get it but anyway yeah I always get the poodlers so I hope you're all having a fantastic Friday um yeah it's Friday yay Friday hi guys just coming to end this week's vlog sorry I didn't get much footage yesterday it's now Saturday um because basically I was just too busy now I mean you know what it's like when you haven't seen someone for a while, you're just going at it like a couple of old fisher wives. <laughs> so we didn't stop literally, so I didn't pull out the camera, it just wasn't appropriate. Um so yeah, I had a lovely day with my friend. Um it was really nice to see her, she's doing very, very well. Um so yeah, it's really nice. So if you've enjoyed this week's vlog, please give it a thumbs up, leave a friendly comment down below and feel free to hit the subscribe button. And as always check out um spring life lover every monday night for a new weekly vlog and i will see you same time next week for another edition see you soon bye